Okay, now it's the Democrats' turn. And to really know what's going on behind the scenes, you need to really know the players. And that's where Diane comes in. This week, she takes your questions straight to them at the Democratic Convention. See the whole picture on World News with Diane Sawyer on ABC. Hello to our fans online. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm Rob Nelson with the top stories on this Tuesday, September 4th. The Democratic National Convention begins tonight in Charlotte and First Lady Michelle Obama will command the spotlight. She will deliver her speech at 10 o'clock Eastern time and she's expected to share a personal perspective of the president's leadership. Former President Bill Clinton will also take the stage this week making the case for re-electing President Obama. The president himself will speak on Thursday night. In Southern California, more than 300 firefighters face another hot, dangerous day on the front lines. They're battling an out-of-control fire in the Angeles National Forest, northeast of L.A. The fire broke out two days ago near a campground, forcing thousands to evacuate. Because of the steep terrain, water-dropping helicopters and air tankers are the best weapons. Thousands of Louisiana and Mississippi property owners are going to need all the help they can get after Hurricane Isaac. Many have returned home for the first time to see the flooded mess left behind. Some areas have never been flooded this badly before, and that's got homeowners in New Orleans suburbs frustrated. More than 100,000 homes and businesses in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Arkansas still have no power. And you take some vodka, you add in a bulldozer and a crowded parking lot in Russia, and some very angry bystanders and here's what you get check this guy out weaving and crashing his way through two rows of cars he crunched seven cars until some onlookers decided and uh, they had had enough they stormed the cab started punching oh. the driver finally dragged him out head first that's when they discovered he was barefoot and apparently drunk there's no word on the motive for this mayhem although he was probably late to where he was going. <laughs> <laughs> but probably not. That dude got his tab closed. <laughs> That's for sure. Down, right? Boom. <laughs> Club is up. Lights up. <laughs> Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm Rob Nelson. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this is World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it. This morning, Kelly Ripa gets a new co-anchor, but first, she's on Good Morning America, and you just never know what she'll say. So be there this morning for Good Morning America on ABC.